strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is loving danger Your heart is bound to break I'll walk alone in the night Beneath the pale moon Loving's for the fools Baby, beware of my body I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf Good morning guys, today is the big day, we have just started our first day of our journey to Picos de Europa, Spain, in Spain. It's going to, it's going to be about 500 kilometers from the village of Fataunsos, which we, start, we are starting now, to near the, the village of Riano in Spain. We are about to do around 60% scenic route and 40% autopistas, so faster roads to allow us to reach our destination in time. Uh, my TRK is offloaded, just taking my winter and waterproof gear, just in case, since Picos de Europa is in the high mountains, so we never know what to expect. However, weather looks really good for the, 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 the next following days, so we are in luck. Uh, so fuel tank is full, chain is oiled, bikes are ready, riders are ready, so let's go! Ok, so we start in Fataunsos, near Viseu, we go north to Castro Dair. Uh, then continue along the National 2 road to Lamego, then Peso da Regua near the Douro River where we turn east to Bustelo. In Bustelo we go up to the Serra of Marão and we follow the National Road there up to Vila Real. Then we follow the faster roads up to Mirandela and then Bragança. Then we cross the border to Puebla de Sanabria, we're going to pick up the autopista all the way up to near Leon and Riano, our destination for today. This is my first big trip with a Rider to Rider intercom and I must say it's really really great. We are using the Chinese BT S2 and S3 intercoms and they work absolutely perfect. Range is good and we only lose signal if we if one of us go around a, a big hill. The battery lasts about 7-8 hours, that means we are probably going to lose comms later on the day. That's not so good. The more expensive intercoms have batteries that sometimes last 2 days. Sound quality is good, like I said. My friend is also using earbuds uh, and he is still able to listen to me, more or less. Uh, he, ask, he is asking me many times to repeat what I have just said. Just that's because of the earbuds, of course. But the most important thing, in my opinion, is the safety increase. The one in the front, the rider in the front, can warn about hazards like potholes, incoming traffic, animals, and we can keep each other awake while talking. It's also very fun to talk to each other about the scenery we are viewing at the moment, so I totally recommend them. For larger groups, however, it's better and a more expensive headset to allow multi-riders conference mode, but this one is still okay.
We are now heading to Castro Daire, following this beautiful secondary road. Uh, the wind has picked up a lot and, and it's strong and cold uh, and it's headwind. And I have just a feeling that it's going to hit us our entire day since normally the wind here always blows from the north. Also, we have decided that in our day one, we would follow some of the most beautiful roads in the north of Portugal. We could go straight to Spain, but <laughs> what's the fun in that? Highways? No thank you. Only as last resort. We will do take some highways later in the day so we can reach the hotel uh, in daylight, but uh, we're going to follow the scenery routes as much as possible. So, first we follow the Twisty National 2 road to Lamego City and then we cross the Douro River to Peso da Régua. After, we will turn east along the Douro River to follow a national road that goes all the way up to Marão Hills, in Portuguese Serra do Marão, and then to the city of Vila Real and ultimately to the city of Bragança and then Spain. But for now, let's enjoy this nice twisty road.
The road we are now on is the Portuguese national road number two. It's the longest road in Portugal and goes all the way from Chaves city in the north to Faro in the Algarve in the south. So for this reason, motorcyclists from everywhere come many times to this road um, to ride its beautiful sections. We are now heading down this valley to the city of Lamego. É o que eu chamo nos meus vídeos no YouTube, eu chamo é o Dead Man Walking. Vou dizer uma caçada aqui a câmera, onde não devia. Faz andar com as antenas de fora. <risos> Breed, depois convém é abrir o capacete. Cansei para notar aí esse palco. Ah, isto assim ficou uma, uma chapa fatal. Fui bater com a câmera, uma pilar. Um caralho. Foda-se. Parece que isto está um bocado fora, não é? Mas... Pois é, se calhar com o vento gelado ainda fizeram perder mais coisas. With origins dating back before the Roman occupation, Lamego is best known for its historic center. Legend holds that the first Portuguese cortes were held in this city. These were assemblies during the medieval times of Portugal, 
of the clergy, nobility and bourgeois. It was called by the King of Portugal at will and in the place of his choosing. Also for this, Lamego is a city full of religious monuments. The most known one is Our Lady of Remedios, built in 1750. Don't 
want to believe it Tough love, you take it or leave it also known as Regua, is a town on the shores of the Douro River, with beautiful landscapes and normally good weather. We are now entering the zones where the port wine and several other wines are made, endless vineyards until the eye can see. Just below us you can see the Douro River, it is possible to take a scenic boat from here to Porto City all the way to the shore. But we are not going to do that, we are going to follow the river north shore, uh, heading east to the town of Mizon Friu, and then we're going to take a road back north to the mountains.
Hit me 